First, start with a piece of foam that has been cut 3 8 of an inch wide. And then with a brown sharpie marker, color each side of the piece of foam so that we're left with two darker brown stripes on either side with a tan stripe in the center. When that's complete, take your foam and fold it over so that the double-sided foam piece extends to about 2 inches. Now at the folded section of the foam, snip off the corners so that we're left with a nice tapered form to the piece of foam. Next, unfold the piece of foam and right in the center where we had snipped, brush on some Zappa Gap. And then place a piece of sexy leg right in the center of that. Fold over the piece of foam and apply pressure to the spot that you just glued. Once you've held the foam for a while, it should be safe to take your fingers off. And when everything's nice and secure, it's safe to snip down the material to roughly half an inch on either side. Now, with a needle securely placed in the vise, take the foam body and gently press the needle through the joint piece of the foam. Be sure to slide the foam body all the way back until it hits the vise. And when it's there, it's time to secure your thread to the needle itself, wrapping the thread all the way back to the throat of the foam body. Once you're there, it's safe to snip off the excess thread. Once it's out of the way, pull some thread out and then begin wrapping the foam around the needle to secure down the foam pieces to create a segmented body. We want the segmented pieces to be roughly a quarter inch from each other. But once you're completed with one, simply pull back the foam, wrap forward on the needle itself, and then go back to re-securing the foam to the needle. Repeat those steps a few more times to create four segments to complete the body. Once it's complete, bring your thread forward and secure it around the needle. And then take your thread back to the last segment of the foam where we can whip finish. Once the whip finish around the foam is complete, bring it forward and whip finish around the point of the needle. Once everything is nice and secure, snip off the excess thread and you have yourself the body portion to your extended body salmon fly. Now remove the body from the needle by squeezing it down and pulling. Now with your hook secured to your vise, take your orange thread and secure it to the hook. Once you have it nice and secure, snip off the excess thread. Continue wrapping your thread around the shank of the hook till you've covered about two-thirds the length of the shank. At that point is where we are going to secure down our extended body. Roughly a quarter inch from the last segment, secure down both pieces of foam on top of the shank of the hook so that it's nice and secure before you move forward. And once that segment is complete, simply pull back the foam, make a few wraps forward, another quarter of an inch, and then re-secure down the foam, creating another segment to the body. When that last segment is nice and secure, it's time to add the legs. Take a long piece of sexy leg and secure it down on one side of the body. Once that's secure, pass the sexy leg through the mouth of the foam so that way we can secure it down on the other side of the body. Once they are both nice and secure, snip off the legs so that they're both roughly three quarters to one inch long. Once that is complete, add another quarter inch segment to the body and then snip off the top foam and then the bottom foam piece. Now take your thread and secure down the foam pieces so that there's a nice even taper to the shank of the hook. And now it's time to add the underwing. The underwing is made out of thin packing foam that we've slightly colored with brown sharpie marker. The small piece of foam itself is roughly two and a half inches long and a half an inch wide. Before securing it down, we've rounded the edges of the underwing itself to coincide with the wing of a salmon fly. Be sure that the foam is sticking off the back of the body roughly a quarter of an inch and then secure it down. Once it's nice and secure, snip off the excess. The actual wing of our salmon fly is going to be made out of a bronze colored EP fiber. The length of the wing should just cover the underwing. And once it's there, secure it down and snip off the excess. The head of the fly is going to require another small piece of folded over foam. Just like we did previously, we're going to snip the corners to create a nice taper to the head. Once that's complete, open up the piece of foam and right where the joint is, we're going to pierce that with our scissors. 
The piercing should just be big enough for us to fit the eye of the hook through the joint of the foam head. Once you've carefully slipped over the eye of the hook, it's time to secure down the last portion of the body. We're going to start by securing down the under piece of foam first. When that's nice and secure, take the top piece of foam and secure that down right at the same spot. When that is nice and secure, pull your thread over the top of the foam at a 45 degree angle to make the last quarter inch segment of the fly. When you're there, go ahead and make a few more wraps around the foam to create a nice nose to your salmon fly. Once that is complete, we're going to make another crisscross back over the top to bring our thread back to the very first segment of the head. Once your thread is there, we're going to secure down a few sexy legs on either side of the body of the salmon fly. Once they're nice and secure, snip them off so that they're roughly an inch long on either side. When that's complete, it's time to whip finish. Once your thread is nice and tight and whip finish is complete, snip off the excess thread. Now it's time to cut off the excess foam left behind from the head of the salmon fly. The first snip is going to be on top. You should leave behind roughly a quarter of an inch of the foam that extends over the wing. The next cut is going to be at the bottom. Cut that one as close as you can to the body of the salmon fly. Now take your salmon fly and remove it from the vise. Holding the hook of the salmon fly, we're going to take our brown sharpie marker and color up the foam to coincide with the rest of the body of our salmon fly. The last step is adding a bit of zappa gap to the underbody of the salmon fly. And when that's complete, you have yourself an extended bodied salmon fly.